Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and today I'm going to switch it up a little bit, take my animal hat off for a minute and put my scientist hat, uh, hat on. I love science. Science is so cool, and you can do some pretty cool things with science. We're going to do some experiments here today, but the funny thing is, you know how my science experiments go. They usually fail miserably and end up, people just love to laugh at me trying to do these science things, so we're going to try it anyway, even if it fails. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to talk about heat. Now, if you want to try this at home, you have to get mom and dad's help because it has to do with fire. So make sure mom and dad are there to help you with the fire and to do the fire for you. Not even help you, they need to do the fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to show how heat is dispersed when you interject water. Now what does that mean? Okay, well, pretty simple. So I've got a balloon here, okay, and I've got a candle here that's got an open flame. I'm being very, very careful. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this balloon over that candle, and what do you think is going to happen? Yes, that balloon is going to pop because there's nothing but air in there. This balloon can't handle the heat, so watch. And i got to tell you, I am terrified of balloons, so the idea that this thing is going to pop horrifies me. So let's see. We'll put this down here, and what's going to happen, as I said, probably going to pop. So, whoo! And there it goes, and as you saw, I jumped, and that was real. I, I don't like balloons, everybody. All right, so now with that said, of course, the flame went out as well. So as we're chatting here, what we're going to do next is we're going to try that same thing, but the only thing that's different is I've got a balloon that is now filled with water. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that balloon over this with the water in here and see what happens. So let me light this candle again. There we go. And as you can see, this balloon here has got a whole bunch of water here. Now watch this. I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to hang this balloon right over there. I mean, look at that. The flame's even touching it. Nothing's going to happen. I can leave this here for quite some time, and nothing's going to happen. And the reason is, is because what's happening is the heat from the flame, it's being dispersed by all the water inside this balloon. So instead of the flame making it really hot in one area and popping the balloon, this water disperses the heat, cools it down, and the balloon is safe. How cool is that? That's a pretty fun experiment. Now, the other cool thing I want to try is something else with water. Now, watch this. Okay, I've got a couple pencils here, and I've got a plastic bag, all right? We're going to talk about molecules. And as you go further into school, you're going to talk more about molecules and how molecules make up everything that you see, including you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke some holes in this bag with some pencils. We're then going to fill this bag with water, and you can imagine, most likely, what's going to happen when we put water inside of this bag. So, with that said, let me do this. I'm going to do that with the pencils. I'm going to put the water in there. I'm going to fill it up. And, oh, my bag is leaking. All these pencils and where the holes are, water's coming out. Now, with that said, let me show you this. There's already water in this bag. I'm going to take pencils with the water in the bag, mind you, because I get soaked here, and we're going to poke the holes right inside this bag. Now watch what happens. Oh, look at how cool that is. Nothing happens. The water doesn't leak out. How in the world? Well, here's the little trick. You see, these bags are made out of something called, as I push it, the water, but look at that, sealed. No water coming out unless I push it. But what's happening is, this is called polyurethanes, a really cool plasticky stuff. Well, when you push the pencil through, the molecules, they form a seal. They get closer together, and they make almost like a solid. That's what this concrete is. That's what you are. And it forms a seal around the pencil, and therefore causes a seal. It doesn't leak. You learn about molecules. Molecules can be in gas. They can be all around you. So cool. Science! I love it! So maybe my experiment went okay, not too shabby. Try them at home. There's so many different science experiments like that you could try online. I recommend you check it out and learn more about science. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. I got a wet knee, but that's all right. Still having fun. See you soon.